channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. If you're new here, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. Today, I am going to be taking you along with me as I create a shirt with the Easy Press and the Easy Press Mat. So, let's go and see how this shirt is going to be created. But you guys, I am so excited because the person ordered this pink shirt. Can you see the pink? I know that it's pink. Ah! I... I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. If you don't know, pink is my favorite color. So I am excited to work on this shirt and show you how I am going to do it. So let's get right to it. Before I get started, the first thing I wanna do is measure how far across and how far down I would like my design to be on the t-shirt. You can use a ruler or you can use a measuring roll like I have here. Ta-da! The Easy Press. So this Easy Press is absolutely amazing. It comes with the heating base, so whenever you are using the Easy Press, you can place it onto the heating base so it can cool off and for it to heat up. It has a huge warning sign on it because this baby right here gets extremely hot. I do not recommend leaving this around children. I don't even want the twins or any of our children around while I am using it because it is extremely hot. Now, on to the Easy Press mat. I love this mat. I actually need a bigger size for bigger projects and I will be purchasing one of those. But you guys, for those who have the Easy Press machine and do not have the Easy Press mat, in the instructions, it says all you can do is grab a bath towel, fold it, and you can still get the job done. But I recommend getting an easy press mat because the mat do not move once your items or whatever you're using is on it. It stays still. It is not sliding all over the place. It's not shaky. It does its job. So I highly recommend getting one. Okay, so now we are in Design Space. If you do not know what Design Space is, Design Space is a software that you use that you can make your projects in with the Cricut. So I have already went ahead and designed what I want to go onto the shirt. They want it to say Realtor. And I already sized it and everything so we can get right to it. So it's already sized, I already picked out my font, I already got my um, stuff together and we are going to make it. So I'm gonna go over to the corner, click the make it button, and it's gonna say it's getting my project ready. Remember, whenever you are doing a t-shirt, you want to mirror your project. Do not forget to mirror your project or else it is going to be a complete disaster. Trust me, I have made that mistake so many times. Always mirror your projects. Now, let's go ahead and send it to the printer and get this thing printed out. Here I have the black everyday iron on. That's the color that I am going to be using for this t-shirt. When you are getting your vinyl ready, make sure that it is shiny side down and that the matte side is facing you. Remember, shiny side down and you want the matte side to be facing you. So once it connects, it's going to ask you to pick the material that you're using. You're going to head over to browse all material and go down to the material that you are using. I'm using Everyday Iron-On, so that's what I am going to click. Once you click that, it's going to ask you, you see how it highlighted with the triangle? Make sure that it is mirrored and the mirror is on. That is very, very important. All right, it's done printing, so now I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the excess vinyl paper that I don't need so it can be easier for me to 
weed out, I am going to grab my weeding tool that helps me to pick off the vinyl that I don't need so I can get the letters. I'm just wiping my hands. I had put some oil on my hands and I didn't want it to get it on the vinyl. So that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, sir. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, back to business. So I am going to click the easy press on and it only takes 60 seconds to heat up to the amount that I want it to be on and it's set for 350 and this is going to get exciting. But before we do that, I would like to um, go ahead and iron the shirt first. Yeah, I definitely want to get some of the wrinkles out of it and because my mat is small, I'm going to have to make it do what it do, baby. Now that the shirt is all ironed, I am going to place my vinyl where I want it to be so we can get this t-shirt made. So because I am using black everyday iron on, I calls for me to set my easy press to 350 for 30 seconds. So that's what I did. Whatever your material is, Cricut.com has a list of things that can help you to figure out what you should be setting your easy press machine to. So that's what I did. So here I am just applying the heat and I am going to do a warm peel once it is done. Here we go. Yes. This is the best part. Whenever you have done a successful press, it just comes off so easily. Take your time and do a warm pill, not a cold pill. Please make sure that it is a warm pill because if it gets cold, it is going to tear the material right off of the t-shirt and it's going to look hideous and you're not going to want to do that. So just allow it to stay warm and do a nice and smooth peel and this will be the reveal yes success we did it you guys thank you so much for joining me on another video and thank you for allowing me to be able to share my creations with you Be sure to check out SeaWord Creations at Etsy.com. From custom moment mugs, custom tumblers, t-shirts, logos, keychains, and more. We look forward to working with you. And remember, all you need is a moment. Be sure to check out Seaver's Creation at our Etsy shop. The link will be in our description box. But you guys, I pray that she loves it. And I took some pictures just so you can see the real color of it. Because this is a beautiful pink. And she is a realtor. And she is so housey. And I look forward to doing more creative videos with you. So be on the lookout for that. And you guys, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. And give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. Until next time, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seaver Family Channel, you are needed. All right, you guys, peace out.